Yeah, it's Pete North Las Vegas. This is going to be hopefully a pretty quick video today. I'm in the process of getting my uh, vintage air uh, condenser installed. And uh, here's the mounting bracket they gave me. And the idea is to put this here, but your hood latch is going to come in underneath. So that's basically what they want you to do. And then all this is going to bolt up as one piece to the uh, core support. And I'm like, why in the hell would I do it like that? And here's a picture where they they show it sandwiched to the core support underneath their bracket to uh, to hold a condenser on. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it like that. So what I did was um, I took some aluminum flat stock, two by one eighth or something like that, and I made some little square mounts, drilled a couple extra holes into the radiator support. I used uh, button head Allen's just so nothing sharp sticking out. And then um, these are quarter 20. And also what Vintage gave me was these number 10s. And there's a size difference between a quarter 20 and a number 10. So that's this is the attaching hardware. Used a quarter, t uh, quarter 20 serrated flange washer or a nut, I'm sorry, and two washers. That's that's what holds all this on. Now, part of the reason I went to a quarter 20 is these holes here on their condenser are like 5 sixteenths. They're huge. So this attaching hardware they gave me, I mean, it's the hole is almost the same size as, as the diameter of the nut. So I'm like, no, we're not doing that either. Okay, so that's the modifications that I made getting this thing mounted. Now I am going to go ahead and use their their bottom mount, which works out fine. But like I said, I swapped out their number ten stuff for the uh, the quarter twenty, and then uh, they gave me some basically some sheet metal screws, and I'm going to replace that with uh, number tens. And I bought some number ten button heads, so we'll get a nice cleaner uh, looking install. Um, it should be a little stronger, in my opinion. And I don't have to sandwich this thing, you know, in between the core support and my uh, my hood latch. So anyway, that's uh, that's where we're at today. And I got these easy uh, fittings to run the lines. And probably tomorrow I'm going to put the fender on and see how much room I have. I think I got enough room to get both lines in wrapped around here and uh, up to the condenser. And then I'll figure out where I'm going to clamp them on the uh, the inner fender. I did try using their hard lines just out of curiosity. I wanted to see how well the hard lines fit. And um, I'm not saying that you couldn't get them to work. You could, but they're not bent really anywhere near uh, where they need to be. So you'd be doing a lot of correction bends on their hard lines. So I'm glad that I decided to go with the Eaton uh, AC soft lines instead of the what they provided in the kit. So I would say... I used their evaporator, I used their condenser, I used their dryer. And as far as the rest of the kit goes, I just, I kind of abandon it. So anyway, uh, that's where we're at today. Pete North Las Vegas, over and out. Okay, quick update. I thought I was done, but we'll do one more real quick clip. Um, I said I was gonna swap out the, um, the sheet metal screws that they gave me. So I drilled these out for number 10 and put a number 10 uh, button head in there. Same thing, serrated washer and or a serrated nut on the back, and just looks like cleaner and uh, you don't have to worry about poking yourself back here. Okay, and I did this just kind of temporarily. These are the five sixteenths, eighteens that attach the uh, inner fender to the bracket, and man, those things are sharp. Those things are wicked. So I went and bought some of these nylon. 5 sixteenths by 18s. I don't know. I might leave them on there. They don't look half bad. Anyway, that'll keep me from uh, tearing myself up when I'm back here uh, 
hooking up the rest of the AC lines and getting the heater hoses routed. Okay, well, that's it. Later.